Hello, and welcome to making my uh, my tutorial on making a three-dimensional object that we will eventually be making a multi-view drawing of in Autodesk Inventor. So to start with, I'm looking at the object um, that I have already made a multi-view sketch of. It looks like a three-dimensional L shape with a triangle kind of nestled in the inner corner of that L. So since there isn't a scale labeled on my shape, I am going to just start with a new part in inches, and I'm going to assume that every line on my isometric sketch is actually worth one inch. So to, to get started, I'm gonna make that L shape. So I'm gonna click on any one of these planes, and I am going to use the rectangle tool to create um, a rectangle. And then from the corner of that rectangle, another one. Now I want to dimension the rectangle. According to my measurements, they are two inches across and it is the sort of shorter side of that L on the outside. It looks like it has seven lines or seven inches tall. The other leg of that L is also two inches or two lines and it is a distance of nine. So that is the basic L shape and I did that by counting the little lines on my isometric. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six. Apparently I can't count. Let me change that to six. That looks better. So a visual check confirms, yep, that looks pretty close to what the isometric uh, sketch is showing. It's got six along the outer edge of the short side of the L and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine along the long side. Each of those is two. Okay. So I will finish the sketch and turn this into a three-dimensional shape with the extrude feature. I'll click on both of those rectangles and when I counted the total height of that L shape or the depth of it was eight squares big. So there's my object. Now looking at my object, um, when I look at it from the top, I want there to be a triangular shape in this area, kind of between this plane and this one. So in here I want it connected, but there's it doesn't go all the way to the top. It starts in the bottom and it only goes part of the way up. So since it starts from the bottom, I'm actually gonna make my next sketch on the bottom. Start a 2D sketch there on the bottom. And I'm going to make a line from that corner to somewhere over here on this line. Then I'm gonna use the dimension tool to find the edge of that point and there, and I'm gonna call that two because according to my sketch, there are two lines, two inches between them. Now, unfortunately, at this point, Inventor doesn't know that I'm trying to draw a triangle. On this sketch, there's just one thing, and it's a line. If uh, Inventor is going to extrude this, it has to be three-dimensional. So that means I need to add um, a few more lines. Triangles have three sides. So from this corner, to that corner and one more from here to here. Now you can see I have a triangle and when I finish that if I go back to sort of a three-dimensional or an isometric view there you can see I now have something that I can extrude. Now it pokes it out in the wrong direction to start with so I want to flip that around and it doesn't go eight it only goes six and then I hit OK. And that looks like my shape. So make sure that you save it to the right place and um, keep that handy because we're going to use that to make a multi-view sketch. Thanks so much.